All right, everyone. Saturday morning, it's fight day. Chris Shields versus Savannah Marshall. Beautiful day today. Really, really nice, although the wind won't stop. So I'm, I'm around this bit here. I think I'm a little bit protected by the wind without messing up the microphone, hopefully. Um, now, usually I'll do a video on the day before, my weigh-in day, for my predictions as to what's gonna be happening. But of course, you know, I've already done prediction videos on this particular card five weeks ago. And my opinion on what's gonna to happen today hasn't changed. Now, obviously I want all the home fighters to win, obviously with the exception of uh, Michaela Mayer and Alicia Baumgartner, obviously they're not home fighters, but great fight, great fight with that one. Um, and I'm biased when it comes to this particular card, because obviously I know a few of the fighters on this card, especially April, April Hunter and Georgia O'Connor, who I'm uh, very close to. I love them girls to bits. Uh, Savannah Marshall now as well. Um, although Georgia has a real tough test. You know, Georgia's only 2-0 at the minute, but she's gonna be taking on the undefeated Belgian national champion in only her third fight, while the Olympians, who's had the same amount of fights as Georgia, are fighting journey women. So basically, it's exactly the same card as uh, last time. Can I just let him go? Come here. Come here, mate. Raiden, wait a minute. Gotta go over run and don't go far, all right? One. Go on, Wolf. <laughs> now, my prediction for the main event is a Savannah Marshall win. I don't care how she does it. I don't care if it's a boring fight, if it's a exciting fight, a, a win by a knockout, a win by points, a win by split decision. I don't care. As long as Savannah Marshall gets the win, right? That's all I. That's all I care about. Um, love Savannah Marshall to bits. I really do. She's lovely. Um, but I. I wouldn't be surprised if both of these fighters end up hitting the deck in this fight. I wouldn't be at all surprised. I know it's billed as puncher versus boxer. I don't buy into that. Both of these girls, they can punch and they can box. They can. Um, but one thing to note, as far as I'm aware, no Peter Fury fighter has ever, ever hit the deck while he's been in the corner. So if Savannah Marshall does go down in this fight, then I think she, she, she should be the first. So no pressure, Savannah, no pressure. But I do think that Savannah Marshall is gonna win this fight. Of course, I hope she's gonna win this fight. Maybe I'm, I'm letting my heart rule my head on this one, but I do feel that Savannah Marshall has everything in her to beat Chris Shields. And I think, I think that Chris Shields, she's gonna to wanna to make a statement. Of course she is, but I think she's gonna play it very, very cautious. I think she's gonna make Savannah chase her around. I do. Maybe see how the fight goes. Maybe Savannah will start to fade as the fight goes on. I mean, I can't see that happening, to be honest. Because um, I think that Savannah Marshall's gas tank is uh, pretty good. But, dun, 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 dun. Is a wolf loose. A vicious predator. <laughs> Little shit. He's going to go disappearing soon. He, he did it yesterday over at the, uh, the huge park over, uh, I, th I think it's Throckley. Um, so, yeah, I think that Savannah Marshall is going to win the fight. Um, I expect a good fight. I think it's going to be a very interesting one. Uh, both of them, at times, will let their hands go, especially uh, Savannah. Especially Savannah. And how Savannah's come on in uh, recent years is phenomenal. You know, this uh, shy kid to now headline in the O2 Arena. And as I said to, uh, I won't say who, but somebody who's very, very key on this particular event, that, that maybe you've missed a trick here, you know, with the popularity of this event, you know, over a hundred people have uh, applied for media from around the world. And, you know, they've only got allocation for like 40 people. And the interest for this fight is on another level. It really is that maybe they could have put this on pay-per-view. Listen, I'm not encouraging pay-per-views just to make that clear, but I think they could have done, not necessarily at the 20 quid mark, if they had done it between, I don't know, five, six pound, maybe a tenner. I think that, uh, that, that there's that much interest in this particular fight card. I think they really have missed a trick. And who knows, if this fight's gonna be good and if the whole event is gonna be successful, which um, it certainly appears that it is, then maybe next time that's something that I look at. But anyway, I think that Savannah Marshall's gonna win. Listen, I, I wanna put it past Carissa to win. I wouldn't, because uh, you know she's phenomenal. And, and they are both 12 and 0. But Savannah, I really, really want Savannah to win. And I believe that she will. Anyway, my dog has disappeared. He's gone a bit too far. Raiden, here! So he's got a thing about, he finds openings in fences. 
he goes running through them and then he forgets how he got there and then, and then he gets stuck and starts whittling oh there he is <laughs> chariots of fire nan, 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 nan. <laughs> think about huskies they're so full of energy um yeah so savannah marshall for the win all home fighters for the win georgia o'connor for the win april hunter for the win lauren price for the win caris also for the win ebony jones and anybody else caroline dubois all the home fighters best of luck to each and every one of them drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe catch you on the next video